Hey everyone, my name is Marco and welcome once again to the world of my color screen where you can learn everything there is to know about customizing your Android home screen. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be explaining to you how to recreate a brilliant looking Android lock screen. So without any further ado, let's bring to you today's video. Great everyone, so in today's video tutorial, like I said, I'll be explaining you how to recreate a brilliant looking lock screen. So let's check it out. I'm just going to lock my screen right now and unlock it and let's see what it's like. Bam! It is called Slide to Unlock by the author, The Next. He's doing quite well for himself right now. You're definitely going to check out his profile on the My Color Screen site. But let's have a closer look at this amazing looking lock screen. First off, straight away you can see that it's got a very iOS 7 look, which you can easily tell by the clock as well as the slide to unlock with the little camera there. Just to mention that when you select that camera, it will open up your camera. It also comes with your date and battery information over there, which looks really awesome and minimal with this semi-transparent status bar at the top. And finally, topping it all off, we got this very sleek, minimal custom slider here at the bottom that, of course, once you slide it across, will unlock your phone. So if you want to learn how to recreate that awesome looking Android lock screen, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so starting out, before you begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing to copy onto your phone in order to complete the setup. First off, just letting you know what apps you'll be needing. It will be these three that you can see over here. First up, it'll be, of course, Widget Locker. That'll be a lock screen app that you'll definitely need in order to complete this setup. It is a paid app, but I highly, highly recommend it. It's one of the best lock screen apps that are out at the moment, and I'll show you something extra towards the end of the video. Next up, we have UCCW. It's free, it's amazing, and it allows you to add in all those custom clock widgets that you might have seen in the lock screen. Finally, you will be needing a good file explorer. I do recommend ES File Explorer just because it's really easy to use, it's free, and I just really enjoy it. So, once you've got your apps down, the resources that you'll be needing, check in the links in the description below for all the resources that you'll be needing. For the Nexus 4 guys, I made a special little UCCW skin just for you, so you definitely want to go check that out. Once you've got all the resources copied onto your phone, we're going to jump right into installing that custom slider for the widget locker. So I've just opened up ES File Explorer right now. As you can see, there is my slide to unlock folder that I've copied onto my phone. If I select it now, here are the predefined resources that you'll be needing for this setup. The one thing that I forgot to mention is that that flat loader widget locker theme that comes bundled with that resources with your wallpapers and your UCCW skins, that one didn't seem to work out too well. So check in the link in the description below for the proper flat loader widget locker skin. And remember just to copy it anywhere onto your phone and just select it. Then select widget locker and then select install only and this will now install it onto your phone which is what you want. Great, so that is all your resources and apps done. Next we can jump right into customizing your widget locker. Great, so if you open up widget locker right now, it should look similar to this. It should have a few widgets such as a clock widget as well as a custom slider. I think it's a jelly bean unlocker right here. So all you'd want to do on it is hold down on it and select remove. You want to get rid of it. And same goes if you have any clocks at the top or whatever. Just hold down on it and select remove. You want a completely blank screen. Next up, we're going to select the top right hand little white icon here, which will bring up our widget locker settings. As now we're going to be start to customizing a few of these. First off, we're going to jump into our look and feel where we want to be selecting alternative wallpaper. Next up, we're going to be selecting select wallpaper and then choose your preferred gallery app. I always like to go for quick pick. Next up, you just want to find that folder that contains all the different wallpapers that you're going to be choosing. But I'm just going to stick with this grass one for now, but you're welcome to choose whichever other one. Next up, you just want to make sure that it touches the sides and you're more or less good to go. You just need to select OK. It's going to save that image, set it as your wallpaper, which is really, really great. Next up, you can change your background tint if you want. All I did was remove all the tint just to make it that extra popping effect. Next up, we're going to be selecting our layout. And as you can see, if you have your anchor in the middle like that, you just want to pull it all the way down so it touches the bottom. And you want to deselect automatically determine grid size as a 9x8 seemed to work pretty well for this setup. And then you just need to select save and you're done. And if I scroll down a bit, I want to deselect labeled shortcuts. I don't think it makes too much of a difference, but it will in your later widget locker themes. And then finally, you want to enable high notification bar. That's at one at the top because we're going to be putting in our own badass status bar. Next up, we want to go into our advanced settings right here. We want to be selecting home helper. And then we want to be selecting home helper component. If it brings up a little message to say okay or make sure that uh, widget lock is the default launcher right there. 
Then next up, we're going to be selecting Home Helper Block Home as well as Block Home in other apps. It's going to select back now. We do want to have widget overlap enabled as that will just allow us to get a few of those widgets overlapped. And that is your widget locker settings complete. So hopefully your wallpaper should have changed and everything should be blank. As now we can move on to adding in those UCCW skins. Great, so in order to add in those UCCW skins, you simply have to hold down on the lock screen, select widgets now, and then you want to scroll all the way down to UCCW. So as always, it doesn't really matter what size you go for. for say if I wanted to add in the clock at the top, I'm just going to go for a 4x2, but as always, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be selecting use it at the top now in that top right hand corner of UCCW and next I'm going to just select clock.uzip. Now I'm going to select yes, so it's going to just import it now. I'm going to select that hand, as you can see I just tapped it and the skin appeared, which is amazing. I'm just going to hold down now, get it to a closer area there, hold down on it again and select resize and this will allow you to make it look a whole lot better. I'm just going to keep that size for now, just tap away and that's all good. All you have to do now is do it to the rest of the UCCW skins. So I'm going to hold down again, go into widgets. I'm just going to show you this to you one more time. And if we scroll a bit more down, go into UCCW, go into say a 5x1. I'm going to next add in the phone.uzip. So I'm going to select again, go into that top uzip, look for the phone.uzip and it's going to import it now onto my lock screen. I'm going to tap that hand again and there it is. Awesome looking little skin right there. We're going to hold down on it. Select resize. Now what helped for me is that I made it touch the sides and then I made it go one in on the right hand side like that and it seemed to align up pretty well with the messages as well as the slide to unlock. So I'm just going to let you add in the rest of the UCCW skins and I'll come back to you with a little bit more of the tips and advice. Great and we are back guys. As you can see I've added in the status bar one at the top. I used for my Nexus 4 the status bar next 4 dot user that has been provided otherwise it's going to not fit in too well also remember that if it doesn't fit too well for you that you're welcome to change the width and the size of the background as that seemed to work out the best for me i've also added in the messages dot user at the bottom here applying the same rule where if i hold down on it to select resize i just moved it in one on the side there and as well as the slide to unlock if i hold down on it select resize i just made it touch each of the edges Next, what you want to be doing is to be customizing your UCCW skin. So if I just select the slide to unlock skin over here and I select edit objects and now I select hotspots. As you can see, the author has been kind enough to select hotspot one and make it the camera. So when you select that camera icon, you can change it. But now you can make it open up your own camera app as this one might not even open up the default one. So I'm just going to change it now and explain how to do it. So if I open it up now and I select hotspot, I can now select app and I can now scroll to whatever camera app that I would want to open when selecting that hotspot. Remember if you're not too clued up on how to use UCCW, we do have a complete guide in the link below. You definitely want to go check it out. I'm just going to be selecting camera for now though and now that hotspot when I select that area, it will open up my camera app which is what I wanted to do. Now I do recommend that this will be the only hotspot that you'll change just because well like say if you wanted to open up the clock you don't want to be opening up any other apps at the same time. So if I just want to select menu at the top there or if you're using a Nexus phone it'll be your, just the options there at the bottom and you want to select lock widgets and then turn it on and this will now customize each one of your different UCCW skins. We can just test it out now by selecting a little camera like this and it will now bring up my camera app which is what I wanted it to do. Finally, we just want to add in that awesome looking custom slider at the bottom. Alrighty folks, we're nearly there. I'm just going to be holding down on the lock screen at the bottom. Remember, if you can't get to this little box right here, that's because something might be in the way. You just want to hold down, say, on your slide to unlock skin, select resize and make sure that it's not touching the bottom, just so you have some space to work with. So you're going to hold down, select custom slider. So once you've opened up the custom slider widget locker settings here, I'm just going to select the theme.android to bring up my drop down menu where I can now select my theme, which hopefully should be the flat loader skin like that. As you can see, it has now appeared. It's going to leave it alone right now. I'm just going to select done and now it'll now place it hopefully very neatly at the bottom like that. You're also welcome to hold down on it, select resize and just make it sure that it's touching both edges like that. Also take note that once you've added in your custom slider like this, say for example you want to hold down on your top slide to unlock skin like this, say you wanted to resize it over it like this so just so it looks a lot better, make sure that you want to hold down on this UCCW skin and say send to back as now you'll always be able to get to your custom slider just like that. 
And there we have it folks, that's pretty much our skin complete, but there's just one more thing I wanted to point out, especially regarding the new widget locker update. If we go back into our menu at the top, or our settings at the top, we go into our buttons and inputs, if we scroll a little bit down, we can see this new little function here called bezel swipe, and a lot of people might say, well, what does that even mean? Well, as you can see, we've got left bezel for apps and right bezel for camera. Now, I'm just going to leave that camera one away for now, as you don't really need it for this lock screen, but if I select back and just go out of my my settings as you can see I have a very minimal clean looking lock screen like this but all I have to do is say swipe to the side and then it brings up my apps really really cool and as always they are customizable so there we have our lock screen complete thank you very much guys for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please give us a thumbs up as well as just please subscribe to the my color screen channel if you haven't already so also don't forget to check out our, all of our social communities that will be linked in the description below. But anyway, it's Marco here. Thank you very much guys for watching and as always, sign up for the Thema Beta.